when we were talking about nerves in performance, we noted how important it is for the musician to become wrapped up in the music, to concentrate on it rather than on themselves. This will also aid communication of the music with the audience. Just as the actor who really lives his part convinces us, so the musician must genuinely feel the emotion of the music. And feel really is the right word here. Music is all about feeling. It's an art of emotion. It works by affecting our pulse rate and working with our emotions. It's not enough for the musician just to play the notes in a void. They must understand the subtext, the emotional truth behind the music. Anything the musician can do to enrich their emotional range will help them as a performer. Although what the musician feels is caused by the music, they can only feel what they're capable of feeling. Anything an artist can do to widen their experience of life, perhaps by travel or meeting other people or studying other arts, all these things will broaden their range and make them into a greater interpreter of music. On stage, there's nowhere to hide. A performer may think that they can hide things they're feeling that are unrelated to the music, but the audience will read their body language. So the performer has to learn to exchange their own feelings for feelings that are dictated by the music. These will then radiate to the audience. It's like a kind of telepathy. There are many different and equally valid interpretations possible for each piece of music. There's certainly no one correct way, and that's part of the beauty of music. Don't forget the importance of body language in getting your musical point over. By that, I don't mean mannerisms, actions that you do that are unrelated to the music, but actions that are in response to the music. The great opera singer Maria Callas said that she moved as the music told her to. She didn't plan movements in advance. She just responded to the music on stage and that communicated itself to the audience. Body language is also important in the way you come on and off stage. Don't ignore the importance of how you enter and leave. In this day and age, it can seem very unnatural, unless you're Japanese, to bow. But if you bow in an open and friendly way, you've gone part way to winning the audience over from the word go.